The title for my work is Are We Still Going On? It's made of a, a male part and uh, the opposite is female part. It's made of old clothing. So in a way the history of people who have been wearing this clothing is still here. Kind of, they are also present. The work, you can see this work in many ways, but uh, one point of view is that it is a kind of boat. So there is movement. Boat uh, is a kind of symbol for life, I would say. I'm using this in my works earlier before as a, as a kind of metaphor. <laughs> The title comes also uh, rises from the history of the building that used to be old textile factory. So there, the, in this space, uh, they have been made. Uh, they made a lot of clothes before. So, so this is also the connection and uh, the architecture of the building. Uh, this is very wonderful room for this work. So this is uh, site-specific art. So I very much designed it for this space. Once waiting for this work, I felt like that. I need to make this kind of work for this space. And I'm very happy about uh, this work now. I like the big contrast between uh, the heavy concrete and my fragile uh, textile uh, shirts. So, because in, in a way this is my life, this work. Not only my life, but maybe uh, the life of people as I feel. It's about my feelings. As an artist, you always put yourself a lot into your work. In a way, this is also my self-portrait in some ways. So it is a uh, very flat side and the concrete is kind of pushing it here, but uh, also supporting at the same time. So I like the transparency. I like the feeling, uh, the fragility, the movement. It's easy uh, to destroy it also if you want. Uh, it's not made of stone. It is uh, uh, for uh, here. There was an idea that uh, it starts with a little bit older, older like uh, a grandfather. <laughs> yes, uh, yeah, and a grandmother, they are here and have a dialogue together. And uh, so all the younger generations around them. Uh, I make a lot of uh, bigger installations outside in public spaces that people can see. Also those people who don't never, who will never go to art museum. So a lot of people are never enter. It's a little bit uh, like uh, the feeling is that you have to be very civilized to enter to art museum. You need to know art history or something like this. So, so I don't like that there is this gap. So I want to give my art to everyone. I want that everyone can see and have a kind of dialogue with my work. They don't need to like it, but uh, they can see and uh, there can be a confrontation. I want that people see the space in a new point of view, that my work gives a kind of a dialogue for the, for the space. But also I want, would like that people uh, see themselves 
in a new way. So, uh, yeah, but uh, the sight is important uh, always for me. I like to have the dialogue with the visual, visual uh, tensions you have in the, in the sight, for example. Here, the concrete, uh, the form, and uh, somehow the uh, architectural sight gives me a question and I give an answer. Many people here, and uh, these girls were also working for the factory. For and uh, a very important part is uh, the connection with with people. In a way, it's a group work, so we made it together. It was not only me who made it, but we were many people together. We were could see and shirts and uh, making this happen. Uh, it's such a big work, you, I cannot do it uh, alone in, in a short, a short uh, time. The title is Are We Still Going On? And it is about the uh, movement uh, and uh, the uh, idea of what is the past and what is the future and uh, what do we do next. So, and uh, the boat is also the symbol for a life journey in, in a way that uh, you ask for yourself that uh, where are you going to and what are you searching for in your life. So in a, in a way I, uh, I have one work I made before with a smaller Boat made of shirts uh, that is uh, now in Kiasma collection in Art Museum in Finland. Uh, the title for, for this uh, smaller boat was uh, Did I Reach the Harbor? So, in a way, that uh, in a way, it is uh, in that work uh, the background with the title was that uh, because as a little girl like me, without having father in your life. Uh, enough as I felt because she died so I ask that if it's possible to go on your life without having loving father around you. So also here I have a little same feeling that my father's arms are around me. So this is kind of a memory I had when I was a child that my father takes me like this and keep it around me and hugs me a lot uh, when I'm a very little. So there is memories coming through this work, and for me this work uh, uh, is important because I feel very safe when I'm here. It gives me happy feelings when I'm standing in the middle of the work. So I have the feeling that arms are around me. I'm in safe. Every work what I make is a personal history. I cannot uh, do any other kind of work. Uh, there is a, a kind of need for this work in me. I need my art. <laughs> so, so. Uh, but uh, this is interesting that uh, many other people uh, see themselves. I see myself, but uh, they see themselves uh, through my work. And uh, they see their memories. And we human beings, we are not so different. That's why it's very important. I feel uh, I need uh, this feedback for, from people that, uh, and I feel that uh, the art in general is important. That there's a reason to make art. Because I, I, I don't uh, want uh, to make art only for myself. Even if I need to do, do, do that. But, it also makes me a lot of happy feelings coming if I feel that also other people feel something. Everybody gets uh, special and something what they need in their life, I th I, what uh, they want to see, I think. Uh, 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 so 
it's something I, I cannot reach, you know, it's, I'm so small. So everybody has a different kind of inter interpretation. And this makes art interesting. As an artist, I don't have a, no right uh, to tell that uh, you should see my work only in this way that I felt. No, no. I don't own my work anymore. People uh, uh, have the right uh, to see what they want. Fragility, a kind of outline of myself. I also think like this, that uh, fragility, but uh, uh, some surroundings, uh, in some surroundings you can feel uh, yourself very big without no limit uh, between surrounding and yourself, you know, you can feel uh, I am huge, but uh, in some surroundings you can feel very small, so it depends on the surrounding also. So I want to have the feeling that it continue, that uh, you are bigger than your skin. <laughs> you are connected, you are uh, with the whole world. So you are big.